Often someone will ask why they're not rowing as fast as someone else. I'm as tall as X, I row at the same drag factor as them, and I row at the same stroke rate. Why aren't I as fast as them? I know you think you know what I'm about to say next, that it's all about technique. Well, you're right, but it's not just about technique. I've made enough videos about technique for this channel that I'm not going to go into the full spiel here. The short version, push, swing, pull, arms, swing, knees, is that you need to push with your legs, add in your back, and then finish with your arms. If you do that in any other order, you're losing power and you're going to row slower. But the truth is, you can row with the perfect textbook technique and still not be as fast as the next guy or gal. Here is Josh Dunkley-Smith breaking the world record for a 2K. Look at the pace he's rowing at. Now I'm rowing alongside him with the best technique I can muster, at the same stroke rate as him. Look at my pace. What's the difference here then? Why aren't I rowing at the same speed as him? One word. Oomph. Concept 2s aren't linear resistance machines. They're not like stair machines, for example, where anyone who sets it to level 10 for 10 minutes will cover the same amount of steps. On a Concept 2, the more effort you put in, the faster you go. Now, I'm going to continue to match Josh's stroke rate, but now I'm going to push harder with my legs. Take a look at how my pace increases. Now I'm going to really concentrate on a powerful finish with my arms, still not pulling from the front, but finishing powerfully. And this reveals another reason in the performance differences. Athletic ability. Or, to put it another way, he's a lot better rower than I am. I'm putting in everything to each stroke here at the same stroke rate as Josh, pushing as hard as I can with the legs, trying to maintain a good technique, and I'm still nowhere near his pace, even for just this short amount of time. He's simply a lot stronger than me, putting more power into each stroke, and he has the fitness and ability to hold this pace for 5 minutes and 38 seconds to eventually break the 2k world record. That doesn't mean that you should give up though. Don't compare yourself to the world record holder. Compare yourself to someone who's maybe 10 seconds faster than you over a 2k row. And next time you're on the machine, think about how much oomph you're putting into each stroke. Now it's very easy to just climb on the machine and go up and down, up and down, without putting in effort. But the moment you start to add in some power from your legs, pushing into the machine with your feet, straight arms and a forward tilt, your stroke and pace comes alive. The flywheel gets louder, the pace on screen gets quicker. You get a better workout as you develop the strength and the fitness to be able to hold this faster pace longer and longer. Before you know it, the person who was 10 seconds faster than you is now dust in your rear view mirror, and you've got your sights on the next person in line. Increase your pace by pushing a little harder, go a little faster, beat each person ahead of you in the rankings one by one. So that's how you go faster on the rowing machine. A good technique, a little bit of oomph, just chip away at it, small chunks at a time. Don't just focus on a big goal, like knocking two minutes off a 2k. Focus on taking four seconds off at a time. That's only one second per 500 meters in your row. Easy. I hope this helped. If you need some training tips, workouts, or even a 2K plan, then please take a look around this channel where they're all here for you entirely for free. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment on this video, and I'll hopefully see you in another of my videos. Take care, be well, bye-bye.